Hello, this is Irian from the Variety Defense Force. There is a Pokemon in chat. If you want to grab it, it is... No, no, you can't. Never mind. It's the first Pokemon. You can't do it anyway, but I can see it. It's waving, apparently. But yeah, this is Irian from the Variety Defense Force, and this is Wheel to Wheel Wednesday. So let's get on with some racing action. So we're going to go straight to Grid Legends and get involved in some racing. So yes, I will be probably very ignorant, trying to keep up with chats and failing. So I'm good at that on a wheel to wheel Wednesday, and that's generally when people appear. <laughs> right, so let's do this. Right, so, let's use my new controller, why not? At some point I need to sort this thing out so it's not just glowing green. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Now, let's race. And we're going to do that by going to the gauntlet, I think. Now we've got an Echo Sponsor event. We've got complete or zero sponsor event objectives. <laughs> Did we really fail that one? Brilliant. Where's zero? Okay. Oh shit, okay. Drift events, of course. Ugh. Well, sod that. <laughs> We'll come back at that for some point, but for now, we'll go to the gauntlet. Or do we do that? Try that event again. Did we just have a really bad Ferrari or something? Uh, yeah, I think I remember. I think I remember why I went poorly. Because it's Akutama. Oh, I crashed on the final corner. Yeah, that's how it happened. Because <laughs> we're good like that. Hello, Okutama. It's race day. I now anything to mention. Oh, yes, we were in an awful car. Okay. Okay, for some reason that right, isn't working very well. Now. I'm gonna have to use Beatrice controller for some reason. Okay, for some reason I've got to figure out that controller. For some reason. Decided to ignore me. Yeah, this car's awful, I remember. Holy fuck, yes it is. My driving style definitely does not suit it. Not a very slidey ass. Oh fucking heck, get off my front, I can't see.
I mean, we've got five laps to catch up, luckily, and Valentin's in first. So... Well, unfortunately, this car, if you hit the brakes at the wrong time, it just slides. Oh my god. It's absolutely awful, this car. For me, at least. Oh my god, you twat. Fucking hell. I'm on the last rewind. Oh, brilliant, that didn't go very well for us. So that was that was where we crashed last time. I've already used free rewinds. Oh crap. I didn't mean to do that. Holy shit, okay. Oh stop. Ugh. I didn't mean to break the track limits. It's one of them things that happen because this car's terrible. They can't push for a high position. Yes they can. They can push to be further ahead. Oh, they kept me on the track. That's nice, then. Slowly going up the grid, though, without too much of a very happy bashy time. I mean, I'm trying, that's for sure. I ain't got to rewind. I need to stop making mistakes. Fucking hell. No, you twat. <laughs> I don't like this car. So bad. It's not great. Oh my god, will you piss off? No, I'm going to slam them because they slammed me. Fucking hell, this ain't going well. I got to like fifth and then lost it all. Oh my god, will you stop going to the left? <laughs> ah! This car's awful. Can you stop going across the thing? They get the stewards are getting pissed off. Oh, why would you do that? This car is goddamn awful. If I catch up, that'll be useful. This is generally how well I get on with Porsche in any game, racing game, to be fair. Unfortunately, grid, we can't just stick a good tri drivetrain on it. <laughs> can't do my usual fix. Doing falls. There's a raid in chat, guys! Exclamation mark raid if you want to join. No, no, you s- God, it's him again. I think he knocked me off last time I got to this position. Get past Jackson Lewis. He's good at knocking me off, apparently. Fucking bollocks, car. <laughs> ah. Get so close to the front, then I just spin out. This car is awful. I don't think I've driven a car so bad. Oh, no, I have. Oh, for fucking hell. I mean, I got enough rewinds for this shit. Look, 
kind of given up now. <laughs> uh, now I know why I failed this last time. Uh, Lenton, you can't lose. You've got to win because I can't. Because I literally can't keep this fucking thing on the track. Oh, stop it. I think I've fucked my car up a little bit. So bloody slidey. Oh my god, it can break for a corner, that's what happens. God damn it. I mean, at least I gave it a second try. Sod giving it a third, this is not fun. <laughs> definitely not fun for that guy. My car's definitely not responding as well as it was. I say that, like it was responding well in the start. Fucking hell, it's just going right. What? One. I've got so many lemons. <sighs> Which is not helping me either. I wonder how much of a negative I'm going to get. Oh, fun, you bastard. Not tough repeatedly. I mean, it's the reason I play on easy. This is one of the reasons. Some cars are just fucking awful for my playstyle. Just so fucking sliding. I can't get on with slidey cars. I've never been good, that good at drifting. That's the best I've ever done. Never been disqualified before. That's interesting. <laughs> I think Valentin run that. Fucking hell. Yeah, I saw that one. We'll avoid that one. That's fine. Don't need to 100% complete the game. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. That's why. Shame this controller doesn't want to work. This. Good. Right, the gauntlet. Here we go.
Hmm. I should have really planned a game after this, actually. I might need another game. No, it's raining. <laughs> and everyone's still pissed off on me from the last race. Brilliant. Come on, Valentin, don't do that. We need to win. Oh, we've got jumps, we don't need to do them. Okay, I'm going to still struggle to stay on the track because this thing is off. I avoid the jumps because they don't benefit me. Come on, Valentin, you've got probably a more powerful engine than the rest. And it's probably why I'm so far in front. Whoa, what the hell just happened then? Did I just lag? Okay. Sure, I slowed down enough. That's because I stopped slowing down, it didn't slow, slow me down as much as I thought. I've got this. Slow and steady wins the race in a car we can actually kind of drive. <laughs> that Porsche run I'm doing off stream at some point because sod that, that was annoying. And all the other things that I've got to do. Like wreck 25 cars. <laughs> Still haven't managed that one. That one's a nightmare. One of them extra tasks I'll do in the future. Better push. Go on, Valentin, get pushing. You can get to first. I mean, second, not first. Don't want you in first because you'll slow down. <laughs> you 
He's a good little teammate when we need to pass him, not like he should be. Slows down when we get near him, not like we need him to. Because then he loses position. Rather he win than any of them. There we go. That's what happens when we use a vehicle we can actually use. <laughs> Did I do that, or did someone else do that? <laughs> someone literally smashed the shit out of that guy. I don't remember crashing into anyone, actually. I think I kept away from everyone that race. I think I actually did well at keeping away. Well, we've got a minute until Stream Raiders battle, so I may as well get the next one set up and then leave it until Stream Raiders is done. There we go, one out of nine completed. Next we've got the gauntlet. Touring cars. Oh look, it's this terrible one with a bloody awful Porsche. I do not even know which one's good. What have we leveled? That's a good question. We've leveled the BMW. We could level this one. Don't know how much though. So I'll figure it out after I've leveled everything that we can. Oh, we can level it all the way, okay. I mean, the M1's a good car, so maybe I should stick with the M1. I know that anyway, it's one of the few BMWs I actually get on with in racing games. I mean, that one's fully upgraded. And that's slow. Compa comparatively. Yes, that's the best one so far. And that one I've got no upgrades in. Complete the Echo Sponsor event. Is that the one I can't succeed? Because I'm using that shitty car. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right, here we go. It's going to take me some flipping work and effort. Uh, we've got loads of flyers. What have we got up here? We've got a Templar, we've got a War Beast, we've got a Healer, Lancer, Tank, Tank, Buster, Flag Bearer, Archer. So we don't have many... Don't have a lot in the way of... Archers. So... We've got tanks and we've got... Multiple hitty hitties. So we're going to go kill in field at the top, I think. I think that might be a good idea. Yep, that was a good idea. Louis slash Lewis of Apshai is kicking ass down the bottom, so we don't have to worry about that. Right, special thanks and congratulations go to the following adventurers. We have got JL926 for Flying Rogue and Louis slash Lewis of Apshai for a bomber scroll. Congratulations. I'm going to say both because at least that way I'm getting one of them right. <laughs> and we're just going to go along the bottom. As usual. Because this one we've actually checked out. And we're going to place a bomber or a paladin. Um, let's do a bomber. We've got three of them to drop. 
actually, which one is mo more beneficial? Paladin is more beneficial for this one, so let's put Paladin over here. Thanks for helping now. Let's get back to it. Right, so let's go for that. We're going to be in a BMW M1 group. I'm not so bothered I haven't unlocked that bloody Porsche. If it was a good car, I'd probably be bothered enough to go and unlock it. <laughs> and I'd unlock it first time. Hello and welcome to the Threadworld series. You can't even do it on easy. <laughs> uh. Here we go. Go on, Valentin. Okay. Let's see, I might find I don't like this car either. Oh no, this is brilliant. Look at that power. Go on, Valentin. Don't slow down. Come on, don't slow down, Valentin. Don't give him chance. Uh oh. Yeah, this is brilliant. This is fucking brilliant compared to that Porsche. I like this. Okay, it's a little bit faster acceleration, but that's not a bad thing. I've got to, like, figure out how to do this without crashing into walls constantly. Acceleration might be a little bit... I'm kind of slowing... Valentin down, but at the moment I kind of have to, because this thing is so quick. I need to get used to this, Valentin. It's so, such a good car, you see. Don't go past me, you'll just slow down. So I didn't want you to pass me. <laughs> oh, it's like a rocket. I love it. Okay, I need to get used to it. I won't deny, but it is brilliant. It's brilliant, I'm the problem here. <laughs> Ceiling chat, guys! Exclamation mark poke catch if you want it. Just really remember not to glance at the screen every so often, because you know that happens sometimes. I'm going into corners. I'm just going to smash into them. Come on, Valentin! You can do this. Feel like I'm kind of getting used to this car. I've just got to slow down a little bit. But unlike the Porsche, it actually keeps its stability, which is brilliant. Valentin, don't do that. You're going to slow down again. Don't slow down. Don't slow down, Valentin. Fucking hell. I know I get stuck around corners, but... 
just gonna have to bear with me. I'm good at the straights. I just don't trust myself enough with this car yet. I was gonna say, I feel like I can do that corner all the way. It's the acceleration that baffles me. And I don't trust it round corners. <laughs> I'm probably slowing down way before I need to. I feel like I am actually braking way before I need to. It's got good brakes. Got to give it that. There we go, maybe getting a little bit brave. To a point. It's this corner that I'm not brave. That's why I'm not brave. <laughs> so I expect that. Especially in a rocket like this. There we go, I kept in front this time. Valente did not get past. I'm gonna keep him high though. We want him to keep pushing, we want him to stay in second. Oh, is so brilliant. I'm praising a BMW. This is weird. Never get on with these in race games. This car was just one I've always got on with. Good old M1. It's always suited my driving style in games. Shit, Valentin's right behind me. I'm racing my own teammate at the moment. And I think he's slightly better at the car than I am. Okay, I'm <laughs> Still gonna keep him pushing. Come on, Valentin. Push me. My door's nearly falling off. I feel like I've hit one too many walls. There we go. We can actually win races. We've won two in a row. After failing so bad on that one. Yeah!
You did have better lap. Well, I'm not surprised. Not one of the easiest tracks for me to figure out. Especially backwards. Oh no, that wasn't backwards. Oh no. <laughs> no. There's a fucking drift event. At least we've only got one round. I mean, it's got to be Lancer, hasn't it? So at least it's only one race, one round. Just gotta get it. And I've only gotta get 500,000 thanks to Valentin. Fuck. Kind of lost control a little bit there. Not gonna lie. At least I'm on the board. Shit. Nearly lost more points. I went too close to the corner, brilliant. Got 44,000. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Way too fast into that corner. Fucking hell. Doing well. Either I have it or I don't. This is a don't, obviously. Nope, fuck that up. Shit, no, nope. fuck. Doing so well, I'm still in like last place. to drift around that corner.
I mean, it wasn't much of a chain, but any chain's better than no chain. Fucking bollocks. Crash into the wall. Brilliant. We did well there. Oh, fucking bollocks. We keep drifting out too far. Like so. Oh. Save that one a little bit. Woo car, woo car, woo car. No! Fuck, we did so well and nearly got a fucking good score then. Then we drifted too far around that bloody corner again. Fuck. We're doing so well at losing collisions. Going way too far out. We weren't going to get that, were we? <sighs> Lenten settles up to fail there with that fucking Scott. How far did we get? I don't think we got very far. We didn't. We came last. Did so well. Never surrender. Shitting bastard fuck. No. No. Don't spit fucking bollocks. We're doing even better this time. It's a very good start. At least we've got points. Pokemon, there is an Arcanine in chat, guys! Exclamation mark poke catch if you want it. Fucking bollocks. You want to hear terrible language? Just watch me playing Drift.
Fucking couldn't get round that corner with drifting, apparently. That was a good score, but I couldn't make it even better. I'm trying to control it so I don't fucking lose it all this time. Shit, fucking too fast. Bollocks. <sighs> the balance is awful. I always have a good run and then I fuck it up. Shit, straight through the fucking... Brilliant. Fucking bollocks. <laughs> Did I ever mention I'm not exactly good at great drift? Saw that one fucking coming. Ah, uh, can't do anything about it. It's trying to keep the score going and trying to get it good. It's oh, gotta get the right speed, the right cornering. It's not exactly easy. Absolute nightmare, in fact. Especially when sometimes he just doesn't want to do it. Can't exactly do drift slow and steady now. Kid, why would you drift then? Why would you just start drifting then when I don't want you to? Brilliant. Fucking bollocks. I didn't know which way it was then, I nearly got confused and went the wrong way. I mean, I'm not gonna come last at least, but... <laughs> second to last. Uh, I just need to get one good run. One good run could get that for us. I'm drifting. Do it. <sighs> 
brilliant. That was a great start. He didn't want to drift around that first corner. just nearly hit that fucking thing. I mean, we just did get one good score then already. That doesn't mean anything, we've got to keep it going. So far, we're hitting that. We had that so close to the damn thing. Oh! Fucking wow! Too to that way too far that time, but. We've at least got a good score in three laps, so... Just gotta keep it going. Sixth. We just gotta get like eighty thousand. Can't let it fuck me over now. And get a few more time bonuses, that'll be brilliant. There we go, we've done it. Fucking done it. Let's just drive to the end now. Well, yep. Yeah. <sighs> what a joy. Done the hardest drift event, just in time for Stream Raiders Battle. There is an adventure in chat, guys, against Graylin the Devourer! Exclamation mark adventure join if you want to join.
I would I would be trying to get to the end quicker, but unfortunately with a drift car it's kind of hard to actually drive. Kind of not built for this. That Porsche may as well have been a fucking drift car. Fucking Valentin set the best lap again. So he won two with Valentin, brilliant. Sorted. I can do anything as long as I'm in my Lance Revolution. <laughs> Yay! Drift done! Right, here we go. Stream Raider's Battle. So, we are going to go with... feel like we're going to string stronghold the left force, because since everything's nearly an archer, Seems like a good option. Right, so special congratulations and thanks go to the following adventurers. We have got... MC68K for two times Saint Scrolls and Teffy for Saint Scroll. Congratulations, guys. Now, on to the next battle. We are going to go with a loyalty... No, just a normal gold chest. And it's a defense mission. And we're going to use a bomber this time because obviously we're in a defensive situation, so that means we are going to be using high ground. So, probably need a wall of tanks and the rest. Right, let's go. Pokemon, gotta catch em there is a clam pearl in chat, guys. Exclamation mark, put catch if you want it. I've been using this controller. Okay. I think I get why it won't work in now. Apparently it was locked or something, I don't know. Right, gauntlet special. Fucking hell. Ugh. Well, if I remember correctly, the Ferrari's shit. So... Kind of got little choice here. I mean, I leveled this one up. It must mean I like it. Fuck. 
It's it's not real. It's not wrong. Oh, going through all these pro challenges. Oh fuck. But the fact that I've got it to highest upgrades means I'm not as terrible as at this one. Oh, man. It's a pleasure to be here at Shanghai. Joining me is I now. Oh, looks like the race is about to start. Go on, Valentin. Okay. Now it's just not turning. Hmm. What's going on here? What's wrong with this controller? Right, let's restart that. <laughs> the new controller isn't working as anticipated some reason. Uh, Fucking being rammed already. Yeah, I think I found this one wasn't as bad as the Ferrari, but it was still pretty terrible. I mean, not like it's fuck. Okay, we could have actually survived that. We did manage to get sick, even though we did just get pretty much rammed off by this fucking guy. Fucking wow, you got right in front of me, mate. I need to start slowing down. That worked. That worked better. Good thing we've got a couple of re rewinds. Jesus. Oh yeah, this car likes to go to the left, actually. Not perfect, it just likes to... That's the one issue we've got with this one. When we slow down, it likes to crash me into the left. We get on it with a lot better than the... Um, that Porsche. Might have to just... I don't know. I don't know what I'll have to do. I've just got to try and stay in first and not crash too badly.
All I have to do is win this race and then, you know, we're sorted. Okay, usually I can go around there pretty quickly, but apparently this time I was going a bit too quick. I'm in a wall. I was in a wall. Now we're no longer in a wall, that's plus. Lentin is in fact catching me. Lentin's good at this vehicle. Unf unlike his teammate. That just means we can get team um, Valentin further up the grid. He actually managed to go around that corner successfully and not crash into a wall for a change. I'd say I'm getting used to the car. No, I just got fucking lucky. Let's be honest. Uh-oh. Lost a little bit of control there. Lucky thing is, just because Valentin's catching up doesn't mean they are. I think we're kind of figuring out how to use this vehicle. I at least hope I am. You just move muffin. Sometimes breaking just fucks me over. Massively. Okay, push confirmed. I think Invalentin's probably at the fastest lap. Good thing when he gets pushed, he's a good driver, but only when he gets pushed. It'd be nice if he was a good driver all the time, but no, just when we force him to do better. Just when we tell him to get good. Just, unfortunately, that won't have work for me, I'm sure. Not in this car, at least. I 
across the line. And another win under our belt. <laughs> I lost my entire bonnet. Brilliant. We did well. That's how you do it. That is how you do it, guys. Or how you don't do it, let's be honest. Well, I feel like this Ford GT is the better cars. <laughs> Seeing all the Ferraris at the back. Holy shit. I mean, they're definitely better for my driving style. That Ferrari just couldn't drive. Successfully. I know I should get through all these today. Then again, we did take multiple times to do... Well, we tried the first one, which was a t complete fail. And then it took us a few times to drift, so... Maybe that's the only thing slowing us down. Oh no. I think these are worthful as well. But we've also got Mitsubishi Lancer, so. upgraded and ready to go. All real to what? All real drive. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. There is a shed injury in chat, guys! Exclamation mark, poke catch if you want it. I know. What do we have in store here? Oh, we got thermals on clear, and my teeth are chattering. Believe me, I much prefer to be uh -oh. in one of those cars. But they get going. Oh, it's toasty. Well, I'm sure we're in for a great race today. Not long to wait now. We'll be back shortly.
Right. Here we go, let's see how we get on. Hopefully well. I can't see anything. That is very awful on the front of our screen. Go on, Valentin. You take that early lead. Unfortunately, because I'm right behind you, you're going to slow down now, aren't you? Oh, sorry, Valentin. Came really fast into that corner, that's for sure. I was trying to get out of his way quickly. At least he's still pushing. Right. Got to keep an eye on the mini map because I can't see where I'm going in my driving view. And the brakes are shit, to be honest. Especially since it's icy. I think these are generally longer tracks as well. Thank you, Fox Ten Mulder Thirteen, for the epic flying rogue on the backfield. Very much appreciated. not use anymore now. That was an awful corner for this car. Got one for emergency, we don't want to use it really. have to brake really early for every fucking car at this rate. He's trying his hardest and he's struggling to keep up with him, really. I don't need to slow down as much as I need to, but I don't trust this car. <laughs> Not after that, you know, you... you bend. That you turn. That's made me absolutely paranoid about this car. There we go, we were successful this time. The thing is, we are actually gaining, so... Okay, then start to 
an advantage. Not gaining on anybody. Just pulling away. Probably because Valentin's not doing his job very well, let's be honest. He was losing places and we're telling him to go quicker. Maybe this isn't the best vehicle for this, unfortunately. Which is funny because you think it'd do fine in ice conditions. The Lancer Evolution should do fine. But they are pretty much good at acceleration, that's Jim. Like that time I specced one up in Forza. Brilliant acceleration, that was it. <laughs> Didn't hold up at full spec. It's not close. I mean, it is close. Okay, I'll try to get them to attack. They now catching up to me. Okay, they're starting to attack. I think they are. We might have to do some aggressive driving now. Thank you, Teffy, for the epic the hooded archer on the battlefield. Very much appreciate. Valentin's caught two places. Maybe this isn't completely out of the league, but the fact that he's struggling at all makes me think maybe we've brought the worst vehicle. The hell was that that just went through? Part of a car, but. Maybe that's why Valentin's doing so well. Maybe he lost part of his car, so maybe he's got. Maybe he's doing going quicker now. Well, stream mode battle's nearly ready. Ready before I am, that's for sure. It'll finish around the same time I finish this, I think. Thank you. 
Last lap. Let's see who goes first. Us or Stream Raiders? I assume it'll be Stream Raiders. I think that's within a minute. But it's not far off a minute anyway. I oh know it'll be about the same time. Oh my god, I've got no clue which is going to be first, us or the Stream Raiders. It's going to be fucking close. <laughs> Stay stream raiders by a few seconds. Let's concentrate on getting to the end of this. The stream raiders are on for its money. Lenten, how have you lost eight places? Holy shit, man. The problem, the AI is terrible unless you spec him up and even when you spec him up he's still terrible unless you tell him to get good what's the point leveling him up if he's still shit he should be reliable I have to tell him to get good bring back B spec mode Gran Turismo and all will be forgiven Nothing has been as good as that. But that was Gran Turismo 5s, not 6s. Yeah, new stream raiders would be a little bit ahead. You know, I said at one point I wasn't sure. I thought it would. What you go with? I thought it would. Hopefully, the rest of the vehicles are awful. Oh, a bit of a pain in the ass like this one. I mean, to be fair, I've done fine. I do like my Lance Revolution, even though it got a little bit wrecked, but that's fine. We won that in the end, that's the main thing. It wasn't good enough of a Lentin to not fail at, but you know. We expect from Valentin. Right, so we are going for high ground. My curse has disappeared, that's brilliant. Yep, my cursor has in fact disappeared and I don't know where it is. Yee! There we go, I can see it now. There is a Riolu in chat, guys! Exclamation mark, bug catch if you want it. I don't think my bomber's... Oh, my bomber has actually got kills. Okay. I say, I don't think my bomber's got any kills. No, he definitely did. Right, special thanks and congratulations go to the following adventurers. We have got... Violet Phosphate for two times Flying Rogue Scrolls. Congratulations. Now, to the next battle. Loyalty Skin Chest. Here we go. Oh, I've got two level 30 bombers. Okay, that's why I'm confused. Right, so we can drop a Paladin. Wait, which one's got the most damage potential? I think the Paladin has. Yeah, the Paladin does. So we're going to drop a Paladin. Paladin. Let's help it out. That's that one done. Yay! Five times healer scrolls. Brilliant.
We've got to do all this in uh, 21 hours. Not going to happen, is it? Let's be honest. Get on stream long enough. Right. So, there we go. I think I've got thanks for... Yes, I do. Let's get back to grid and continue with our championships and our broken car. Good at this. Believe me, I'm good at this. I'm alright, I guess. I do racing games, to a point. I also crash a lot. Yeah, I feel like the Mitsubishi struggled a little bit against the Aldis, but... Not as bad as the Sylvia's. Oh, no, no. Yep, one of them came last. Okay. The only reason he had the best lap is because we forced him to. I don't know, maybe they're only good when... I don't know. They may just be all balanced. And Valentin was just doing shit because we didn't tell him to do better. <laughs> Absolutely sucks. Right, so we've got four more left to do. We've got GT this time. What GTs have we got? Got that one fully upgraded. We got that one that isn't. Fuck it, we may as well buy it, haven't we? I mean, I won't be using it anyway, let's be honest. Have I bought everything from every category that we've done? I mean, we've got every car in that one. Every car in that one. Every car in that one. You don't have every car in that one, because we've got to unlock that one with special stuff. Right, we're just going to use the Painos, obviously. That is our upgraded one. No point in nerfing ourselves. And if I'm not mistaken, it wasn't terrible. Terrible track. Not snowy, not wintry. Right, we just got a car we hadn't used for a while. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, but these these terrible thin streets seem to be. It's this track. Okay, brilliant. That explains it. Okay, maybe we've got a terrible track. Just gotta find good places to pass. If we want to try not to bash them out of the way, which we don't really want to bash them out of the way. go down the inside and try and cut me off. I will not deny that. It's generally the problem with AI and the fact that it just follow a certain line all the time. 
There we go. One thing about me, I'm very unpredictable and I don't follow a, ra a racing line. Okay, I should have broke a little bit more. Never mind. Okay, I'll push. Come on, Valentin, get pushing. So the one thing I've got with this one is I need to brake a little bit more. That's what I've learned so far. Well, it's not exactly the greatest thing at turning. Other than that, I think it's fine. That's if we want to not crash into absolutely everything, which we don't really. I know it seems like I do, but trust me, I don't really. Having a choice of one of the other GT cars to be, you know, fully upgraded would have been great just for that part where this one doesn't have the power. straight full speed. Which card pick though? Depends which one's the most balanced. Probably end up still picking this one. Your teammates crashed. Valentin, how are you crashed? Supposed to be getting good.
probably just the fact this car is not the best choice. But it's the only one we had and it was fully upgraded, so... That'll be the one we pick. Go to the finish. <clears throat> Didn't think I crashed that much, but you know. Apparently I'm good at dealing damage to myself. Yeah, I mean, the next Panos GTR was in 7th. Everything else was the Porsche or Lotus, and the two Lotuses behind me, Porsches behind me were bloody relatively quick laps. I wasn't even to mine. Last this was a Porsche. Not like I would pick Porsche either way. <laughs> it's usually the fastest cars are the ones that are uncontrollable. Pokemon, gotta There's a Moon Goose in chat, guys! Exclamation mark, bird catch if you want it. Three more left. Next one's electric. Brilliant. Hyper hybrid. So we've got two cars and we've only got one upgraded, so. Wonder which one we're using. Of course, it's going to be that one. I wonder if we're going to start having issues again soon. It is. Oh no, it's raining. I mean, a good thing about electric cars is the AI don't know how to use them. So I usually win just by uh, the AI being extremely slow. I mean, I'm already in first, but this thing's like, it's got a pair of ice skates. Apparently this car is awful in rain. You have to literally brake like crazy for every corner. I'm not surprised, racing on ice skates. Literally racing on ice skates.
Oh, I didn't even realise I'm on lap two. Doing well, actually. There's no boosts. Okay. Interesting. I think this is the first map we did. I don't think I did it in such a slidey car. Bouncing from wall to wall. Oh, we might have checked Valentin, okay, yep. Just to to realise it's lap 4. That's how much I've been paying attention to the laps. It's absolutely skyrocketing through them without realising. <laughs> I, mean, I should know because we keep going through the purple glowy bit every so often. I'm not used to them going this quick. In every other one, it's there have been two minute laps. This one. We're already on the final lap. In the dungeon. The there is dungeon in chat, guys! Exclamation mark dungeon if you want to join. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, he was pegged and pounded. Race finished. Two more to go. Where did Valentin finish? Beltra may be the fastest car out of the two, so we went for the right one. Not like we had much of a choice. Anyone got leveled up.
Oh, track day. Oh no, these look this looks awful. I got a Conic Egg Jesco. I mean, so I buy that one, even though, you know, we've got nothing in any of them but the Jesco. So we're just going to have to go. We're just, just going to have to go with this one, aren't we? Let's be honest. And I feel like this one's also slidey as hell. Might not do too well. We're going to see. Let's do it. Unfortunately, we're in the middle of the grid, so... I just need to get as quickly as I can through them all, because this is lightweight, and I'm not good with lightweight. As I said, no good at lightweight, because I just go steaming off the bloody track. What? What's happening? Thank you, Smail Menti, for the epic mage on the battlefield. Very much appreciate. Holy fuck. It literally keeps sliding. Someone just whacked me off the track. Brilliant. Let's try to do a better job, shall we? I mean, I say that, then I go straight off the track again. I think you may have upset them. I only smacked them with my back end, that's nothing. I don't really want to complain about that. I fucking don't like this track. Come on, Valentin. Get over here and give me a hand. God, this track is so similar to Indiana, Indianapolis. To a point. Yep, this car is not good enough going around that that quick. At least we know we've got to slow down for that now. Very drifty car. There is a raid in chat, guys. Explanation about raid if you want to join. Fucking bollocks. Oh my god. Yeah, let's rewind that a little bit. Okay, I'll push. Okay, push, come on. 
There's an adventure in chat, guys! Exclamation mark, adventure join if you want to join. Well, I concentrate on this. And then we're going to see what terrible race event we've got at the end. All this drifting. <laughs> there is a pincer in chat, guys. Exclamation mark bird catch if you want it. I won't bother poker checking because that most likely won't work. You never know it might. Sometimes it works. Depends how lucky you are. Whatever part that was probably came off my car. <laughs> oh, it's cooled down a little bit. Maybe. Maybe it can start pulling away again now. Because the, the bloody multiple nemesis is, can be a pain in the ass. A Maasai or whatever you want to call them. Because they are ultra angry. Angry to the point where they can catch up really easily. Fucking hell, I didn't mean to go over that much. Yeah, he's dropped back a lot. Game has a way of making it hard for anybody, even, even on easy difficulty. Like, oh, you've pissed that guy off. Oh, he's gonna go up to medium or hard difficulty and just keep up and just sometimes destroy you. I ain't struggled, struggled with one since the early days, so maybe they're easy difficulty, but they can still be a pain. Especially if you're in a really bad car. Or at least a bad car for your driving style, like me, in most cases. Right, here we go. We are gonna go with... Hmm... I feel like... Um, do we actually have anyone that can do... Okay, we've got a bunch of arches behind my Paladin. Okay. Hmm... Plus there is a lot of armoured foes. And we mostly have range. You know what? High ground over here. That seems like an option.
really the only option we had. But it seems to be working. That's a plus. Yep, we kicked their asses. Right, so. Special thanks and congratulations go to the following adventurers. We have got Iliad for 200 gold and Puppaput for a Berserk Scroll. Congratulations. And we are going to go on to a gold chest. For that, let's see if I can grab my quest. Nope, that's too slow. Let's go back and grab my quest. Muffin, settle down. Right, so now we've got to get a bunch of kills. Right, so. I'll place bombers and tanks. We're going to place a bomber because that just seems like a sensible option. Okay, we've got one with longer range. That's what we're going to use on this one. Thanks for helping out. We're going to get, be going with high ground, of course, because we are in a defensive battle. So mostly we're going to need tanks and bomb uh, archers, but obviously place whatever you guys want. Whatever you guys feel. Settle down, Muffin. Let him get sorted before he wants to let you down. I'm making loud noises. What are you doing? What are you doing over here? Careful of the wires. Yeah, careful of the wires. And now is our last race. Oh, no. <laughs> now it's open wheel. Of course it is. And it's the Renault R26. You can go settle down while I do this race. You can go settle down while I do this race. No. You win. Right. Let's go. Let's get our drive on down Strada Alpina. Please don't be snowing or raining. Oh. It's called Strada Alpina. I expect it to be snowy. Which is not going to be good for a Formula 1 car. Actually, not one from the Alonso Fisichella era. So, racing in wet conditions. Oh, fuck. But corners that could take fast in the dry may result in a slippery slide into a wall. Thanks, I know. Well, it's. Yay! We like slippery slides into walls. There we go. Go on, Valentin. Get him. And they're open wheels, so if we hit someone. Which we just did to everybody. <laughs> did not realise the corner was that close. Oh, you bitch. That's fine, as long as I don't get spun out, that's fine.
Okay, did someone just ram me as well? Uh oh. Get off the wall! Whoa! My car's been knife edged by another one. Probably need to concentrate on this one a little bit. No, I think I got in my teammate's way, let's be honest. I just need to get in first as quickly as possible with a car like this. There we go. I do not do well with the tussles in open wheel. And I do not have the rewinds available. Oh, we got three laps, okay. So this is an extremely long map then. Oh yeah, it's this one. Is this one of the ones I don't do well on? I think so. Yeah, it is. One of the ones I usually end up in the wall at one point. I'm not even wrong on that point. Buff in, settle down. I need to concentrate. It's brilliant. This is brilliant when you got a long straight. Sounds absolutely awful when we got a long straight. I mean, it's a good thing Formula 1 cars don't have long straights. Or at least extremely long straights. Oh my god. Sounds so annoying at top speed. The last lap time is three twenty five point zero. Oh, this long race. 3 minutes 30 to finish a lap. Fucking hell. No wonder it's 3 laps. I wasn't wrong. Okay, I'll push. Okay, yeah. When I remember, I'll get Valentin to push. Don't no, stop your squeaking, mister. Calm down, settle down. Be loud out when you can be. Concentrating. Or at least attempting to. Go on, Valentin, you can do this. I mean, you might be able to, I can't. Yeah, I can't say it's going bad. Nearly completed it. Well, at least the uh, Korea mode. Ooh, how's it going, Vipes? Hope everything's going well. I mean, the car does sound like an angry bee. And we did just nearly crash it. That's thing, slight touch in these cars. Oh, not fun. Good old open wheel. Mm. 
and they're so whiny. <laughs> oh, that whining buzz. Okay, I'll try to get them to attack. Go, Valentin, get going. Okay, push. Here we go, speaking of the whine. They're not very good on extreme straights. I should always have own cars with extreme acceleration, I suppose. These are the like final challenges of grid. I might do the career at some point, but I mean the actual storyline, but nah. What are you squeaking at? Uh oh. That was not planned. I mean, it's not like I could rewind, so... And I have to deal with that. I should not glance at Valentin. See how he's doing. He's doing naff as usual, of course. Oh, That's not good. Hugs. Not far off Friday, at least. Only two more days. Technically one more work day. Well, actually, no, two more work days. I got that one off. And then one more week. And then you get a week off. There is. Oh, never mind. There was a float saloon. I think I did mention it, to be fair. Sounds like something I mentioned. You see many Formula One power slides, I don't think so. Only when I'm driving. <laughs> oh, Valentin's actually in second. How long, I don't know, because his power is about to run out. Never mind, it wasn't. Now it is. At the end of this straight, we'll do it again. The annoying sound. I wonder if they test this track. For oh, is this a bad map for Formula One cars? It would have been if you actually tested how annoying that sound can be on a straight for that long period of time. Here we go, I think this is the finish. It is. We didn't it, we weren't able to do one lap without with a validate lap, never mind. <laughs> it's all good. Oh look, we're good at parking, we parked it across the finish line.
Go get him. I did not plan for this eventuality of actually finishing this today. And the stream the stream's been good as well today. We haven't had any issues yet. Oh no, we got penalized one second. No. Good thing we finished a few seconds ahead. Not like I was really gaining much of an advantage. My driving skills have a lot to be desired. There we go, we've got an 8 of 8 rookie. 9 out of 10 semi-pro because we've got grid challenges we can't do because we need to unlock damn things. And we've got grid challenges on here we can't do either because that one's just... I'm doing that one off stream. <laughs> I've tried it twice now and just failed both times. That car's just awful. And then at some point, who knows, we might do some of the stories. Say, I think it's nearly time. Food, so let me figure out what we've got in the background. See what my next game is going to be. Or we'll till we'll Wednesday. That'll be something to do with vehicles, that's for sure. With some form of wheel. In the dungeon. There is dungeon in chat, the guys. Let's finish up dun dungeon to join. Dungeon. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon. Want to join a dungeon? Go ahead. And pound. Hmm. Yep. I've got racing games in this section. I've got pirate games as well. Oh, God. I mean, Paper Pirates, that's going to be a difficult one. That'll be a late. On a late Friday one, because that requires people. That's one of them games. That might be one of them games to do with that plan that was on about Vipes. Discord stream, maybe. Still the party games, at least for the that part of it. Right, let's see. 
gonna load this up, see what it's like. Alright, let's... Okay. At least it's saying windowed mode, at least it's on for that. Play and see what this is like, shall we? Right, we're gonna see how this works on stream. I've not played... I bought this game once and then never played it again. And shock, shock, horror, it's not a racing game. I feel like you're wrong there, Leviathan Warships. I feel like I am connected to the internet. <laughs> Somehow. I feel like I've, I'm streaming right now, so that's a bit of a lie. feel like you're wrong. Is it just that you're not... What the hell is jazz mode? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> hey, Leviathan warships, you don't know what you're doing. Can't actually see what them op that option is that's greyed out. Connect, okay. Or maybe it's just because I'm not connected, okay. Only solo campaign and challenge missions over. But that's fine. That's all we're going to do with this anyway. So maybe the servers are just offline. That's fine. All right, let's look, look at the options. Oh, we've got so many options. Why did I bother checking again? All right. Play offline. Sod it. Yes, would like to play the tutorial because I haven't played this game since like 2012. I can't even check now. <laughs> It'd be about 2012, yes. Let's do it. Game. Rename game. Irian fails. That'll do. We're going to lose tutorial, most probably. Let's do it. So we're going to learn the basics of the turn-based gameplay and how to maneuver our ship. We also probably need to do a sensible thing, and we're going to change our game title. The Viathan Warships, here we go. Oh, I'm not surprised this failed. Only 130 followers on Twitch. <laughs> this, went, this game went really well. Right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's see how this is. I never complete the tutorial. I don't think there was one when I played it first. Meet up with the escort frigate, the boy. Welcome to the Commonwealth Navy Cadet. I am Lieutenant Falco, your instructor. Falcon Punch! It is my responsibility to find out if you have what it takes to become a full-fledged Commodore in command of your own task force. Our objective is to finish the tutorial. Brilliant. They're expecting a lot of me. Uh-oh, what did that do? What does int1 do? We've got no clue. Just makes it go green! Let's do it. This first, session, uh, this first training session covers how to maneuver the ships and also how to work the interface of your command module. Press the next button on the right to move on with the instructions. Your goal is simple. Simply to travel to this boy in the south. Left ship is yours and the right one is your escort. They look the exact same. Oh no, that one's got more guns, I think. First of all, you need to learn how to look around the map. They can hold the left mouse button, okay. Whee! Mouse scroll, okay. Simples. Also you. Well, I'm going to do that, aren't I? Let's be honest. That's easier than doing it with a mouse. Continue. Press the commit button on the right side of your screen. Okay. I commit.
The action in a game is out divided in two phases, planning and outcome. Planning phase is where you give movement and targeting orders to your ships. When you are done planning, press the commit button to watch the result of your orders in the outcome phase. There is a duck duck shark in chat. Guys, the clown, exclamation mark adventure join if you want to take it out. The outcome phase lasts for 10 seconds. After the outcome phase, you return to a new planning phase and so on. You can use your play, we play button to the left to commit button. To the left of the commit button to see the entire last outcome again, including any dialogues and any briefings. Thank you, Teffy, for the epic hooded, the hooded arch on the battlefield. Very much appreciate. We have chosen to disable the replay button. Oh, that's why it didn't exist. Join this tutorial. When you're ready to proceed to the next set of instructions, just press the commit button. Do you not want me to move yet? Okay, I, I assume you don't want me to move yet. Fine. Let's just let the escort frigate go itself, shall we? Pokemon, it's not much of an escort if it's left us behind. Just saying. There is Tropius in chat, by the way, guys. Exclamation mark, poke catch if you want it. Alright, so it's time to give orders to your ship, telling it to join the escort frigate at the buoy. I'll show you how it's done. Ships are selected by clicking on them. I have selected your ship for you now. When the ship is selected... You'll see the icons of the flower menu around it. At the moment, your ship only has three items in its menu. The green arrow to move forward, the orange arrow to move back, and the ship rotate button to rotate your ship on the spot. Oh my god. If you look at the escort, we can see all of its weaponry displayed in the menu. When your ship gets guns, they will show in the menu too. Fucking look how powerful this thing is. Sail forward, you click and hold on a green arrow and it will turn into a move order that you can drag out to where you want the ship to sail. Okay. Okay, I guess I've got to click on you first. Also, you can click on a waypoint to select it. Once selected, you can delete it to add... Or add more waypoints on your current route. Okay. Brand new rim... Waypoint, simply click and drag the plus icon to where you want your next waypoint to be placed. Okay. Dotted line shows the true path your ship will take depending on its speed. The bright green light, green dots show how far your ship will travel in the upcoming outcome phase. Now plot a course. Oh, now it's going to let me, is it? Oh, there we go. Plus. I mean, just go. Full forward, why not? It won't let me add yet, so that'll do. Commit. Oh, look at that. We're moving. We've got this. I think modern ships have wheels. Steering wheels, at least. I'm gonna fucking check now. Or else I shouldn't be playing this game. <laughs> Should really check first, but you know, I forgot that I was doing this right. New. Nope. Yes, they do have ship wheels still. Okay, brilliant. That is fine. Continue towards the boy to complete the service, the ex exercise. The next mission, I'll show you how to use weapons. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that one. There wasn't a tutorial when I first played this because I think it was in early access. Like I said, I didn't even do the tutorial, so... I did good. Game results. Successfully completed mission parameters. 
A fair return to base. Yeah. Look at that. Not applicable. Any thing there. Brilliant. Right, so. Let's save the replay. Because <laughs> we did so much. Let's be honest. Offensive me measures. Here we go. Learn how to use the guns on your ship. Let's do it. Demonstrate acceptable skill in operating the offensive system on your sh systems on your ship. Surprisingly good work so far, cadet. A quick note on manoeuvring before we move on to the really fun stuff. This game might have only had a multiplayer mode when I played it. That might be why I never actually got into it. The battle is ready, my lord. Right, let's do the battle before we start the mission. We are going to go high ground, of course, because that's what I said we were doing. I have a way of doing defense missions, and since the only en allies that we've got that can really we can really benefit from are the long range ones that can actually fight things, I feel like just having them destroy everything is a good idea. Hello, I go, cheers, dude. Okay, cool. Dude. Right, so we'll put this on hold for now and we'll go on load stream racer. Right, so special thanks and congratulations go to the following adventurers we have got. GR926 for two times must tier scrolls and Savalamente for two times blind scrolls. Congratulations. And we are going to grab the quest that is done. Yes, that's good. We might get it. What do we have to do? Place for Centauri. We are not doing that in 20 hours. No chance. <laughs> nope. That's another one we're going to have to avoid. These second ones are stupid. Like my sleep pattern. There we go. Loyalty gold chest. Let's go. Right. So we are going to place a bomber. I feel. Yeah. Because there's zero point of us even trying the other objective. I am not going to place four centurions in that little bit of a time. Right, so there we go. Right, so we don't want to launch this. We go back. Can't go back. I mean, at least the music continue. Okay, sod it. Right. No. Oh my god, he won't let me go back. Welcome back to the bridge. Right, we'll have this on in the background, sod it. It's not exactly a going to be a hard game to keep on in the background. You can just have that music as well. And we'll come back to that in a bit. Um, so we need Stream Racer, which I think is in a higher category than this game. Like I said, this game is old, so it should be fine. Stream Racer, here we go. Let's see how this goes. We're going to have a mixture of two lots of music, so I apologise. Actually, no we won't. Sensible option. Options. Oh no, 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 wait. Wait, we can actually let exit it. Fuck it, we're gonna exit it. Better than wasting resources, let's be honest. By the way, if anyone wants to do a jigsaw, there is one available. No, don't do that, mouse.
I'm gonna do this at some point. Right. I'll probably just end up using my tracks at that point. Um, so I need one that's kind of long. I think there's only one long one. That one. Right, so. Mesh mark race if you want to join. Get your goblins ready for the race as we're about to begin. And we will start. And also do the rest. 30 seconds on the clock and we are gonna go village slayer and hopefully not forget tonight to turn it off like we did last night that was not sensible but i do it every so often let's be honest Ahoy, right, I'm I'll be right back. and i'm the here for dungeon. dungeon graylin was chained and bound in the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, he was pegged and pounded.
Thank you, Svella Mente, for the epic bomb on the backfield. Very much appreciate it. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. The do there is a Daru Maka in chat, guys. Exclamation mark, bed catch if you want it. Ahoy, in I'm here the in dungeon, dungeon, and I'm the here for dungeon. Graylin was chained and bound. In Get your goblins dungeon, ready for the, the race, dungeon, as we're about to begin. Pegged and pegged.
Thank you, Neliel Nesta, for the epic musketeer on the backfield. Very much appreciate it. Get your goblins ready for the race, as we're about to begin. Ahoy, I'm Erin Diniak, the mighty and I'm dungeon. here for booty. Raylan was chained and bound. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, he was pegged and pounded.
I prevail came third. Thank you, put put the put for the epic monk on the battlefield. Very much appreciated. Now on to the next race. Get your goblins ready for the race, as we're about to begin. Ahoy! I'm Erin Diniak, and I'm here the for the mighty booty. dungeon. Graylin was chained and bound. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, he was pegged and pound. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. There's a throw in chat, guys, so if you want it, throw a Pokeball at it with exclamation mark bug catch.
Get your goblins ready for the race, as we're about to begin. Thank you, Hazmat Medic, the Epic Barbarian on Batfield, very much appreciated. How does a dwarven greeting sound be true? The battle is ready, my lord. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, Graylin was chained and bound. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, he was pegged and pounded. Get your goblins ready for the race, as we're about to begin. Right, so let's get the next race on the go and let's get the Stream Raiders battle going. change the camera on this obviously so we can actually see the race. Good point. At least see the whole race track. Ah, 
that'll do. Right, let's do the stream raise battle as well. And we are going to go with... That's a good question. I feel like high ground might be the best option here. Right, so we are going to get high ground and we're going to put it... About here. That should be alright. I feel like that was a good idea. Especially considering this is the one that increases damage by a lot. I mean, we've won the right hand battle and we've won the left, so. Now we've just got the in the middle one. I'll win the left and finish that one off. There we go. Right, so special thanks and congratulations go to the following adventurers. We have got. Velamente for 200 gold and P -p -p Poot. For a monk scroll, congratulations. Yay, I got it correct, brilliant. I had to count to make sure I got that name actually correct. I can really count, there we go. So we go on to the next main one. It's when I get the main one done, I might actually be able to do the secondaries, it's just at the moment until I get my sleep pattern sorted. <laughs> no chance, even though I seem to be getting there, finally. Right, so let's drop a Centurion on the battlefield. At this point, just for giggles, because there's no chance in hell we're doing that, but you know. Thanks for helping now. And then let's get back and disrupt Stream Racer, because my mouse won't stay still. There we go, now it will. And also thank you Capybara, free 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 for the follow, very much appreciate it. So Cappy uh, Capybara came third and Viper Vale came fifth, so let's go to the next race. The dungeons really need to stop finishing at the same time. Right, so that's Ahoy, the dungeon. I'm here in the okay, and I'm dungeon. here for booty. Raylin was chained and bound. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, he was pegged and pounded. God, it knew what I was Get trying to your goblins ready for the race, as we're about to begin. And let's start the race.
Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Ahoy! I'm in Irene Tinyak, and I'm the here for Dungeon. dungeon. Graylin was chained and bound. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, he was pegged and pound. So, Capybara finishes in second, so this might be the last race, we'll see. Completely depends on how fast I end up finishing this. So we're going to go on race. Thank you, Viper Vale, for the epic punk Paladin on Battlefield. Very much appreciated. Oh, also a poke. There was a Steeny, but I'd never saw the Steeny come up, so I'm guessing I messed that up. Get your goblins ready for the race. Oh, as we're about to fuck. begin. Right, there we go. I think I need to remove the remove up. From that command, at least. And Irian seems to be back in time, so yes, we'll go back to warships. Levi Leviathan warship, shall we say. So for the last race of this Wheel to Wheel Wednesday for Stream Racer, 
Capybara finishes first. Viper Veil second. And then ignore the rest, because, you know, Moobot shouldn't even be there. I need to get rid of that command at some point. Right, we might have to remember that. I'll try and remember it after stream, actually. Uh, right, so let's escape. And we'll come back with some more Stream Racer next week. But for now, we're going to get our Leviathan Warboats back out and finish that tutorial, at least. Do something different for a change. Because when do we ever do anything that isn't racing on a Wheel to Wheel Wednesday? Shock, shock, horror. Now I've just got to find it again. Shock, shock, horror. It be time for the raid and pillage. Oh, look, there's a raid. That reminds me. Snuggle truck is a kind of risk. <laughs> I don't have that one, though, Vipes. <laughs> Could try that. <laughs> we'll have to get that figured out first. I'll have to buy it. We will figure it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> we'll get it figured out. You know this. You know I'll always try anything. Technically, I could play Cluster Truck as well, but you're not technically driving in that, so. Or achievements for me too. Yeah, but then I'd have to start it. And have you even 100%ed that one yet? <laughs> uh. Right. I can't wait to see how bad you are in ve in February. You'll have to show me it to get it installed, just in case. Well, they nice. <laughs> Thanks, Vibes. Appreciate it. Right, so we've got that on the screen. It's all sorted. We have also got... Yep, we've got everything updated. Brilliant. Right, let's do it. Play offline. Oh, look. It saved the, that saved the mission. I just quit it and it's just like, oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Demonstrate, demonstrate acceptable skill in operating the offensive systems on your ships. Surprisingly good work so far, cadets. A quick note on maneuvering before we move on to the really fun stuff. Remember that the trick for efficient navigation is to keep momentum. More waypoints that reduce the speed of your ships are seldom the answer to winning sea battles. That said, it is about time you learned how to defeat your enemies. Learn how to operate your offensive systems. The bigger the gun, the bigger the damage. Be careful though, big weapons are often long range, so you'll need the smaller ones to defend yourself when the enemy gets up real close. This is going to turn into gratuitous space, but that's probably why I bought it back in the day. Because that's what I wanted, and I think it was mostly just multiplayer at the start of it. Welcome back to the bridge. Oh, I just didn't know what I was doing. It is me, so all of the above. Welcome back to the bridge. For this exercise, your ship has been out equipped with a weapon of the auto cannon class. This one is called Causa and is the smallest weapon. It's probably Kauza or something like that. And is the smallest weapon in the auto cannon family. Good thing Ward is not here because I'll probably hear what it's called. You know, ships over there, the are targeting dummies designed to resem resemble the most frequent foe of your future battles, a Marauder war vessel. The Escort Frigate is going to give you a dem short demonstration of the weapon system.
Now it is your turn to try. Simply drag the weapon icon from the flower menu and place it on the dummy to give your auto cannon the order to shoot. Okay, easy enough. Green targeting cone shows the effective range of that particular weapon. Commit! Oh, look at that. Good whip, watch out. Reports show we have a perimeter breach. Rest of your position. A real enemy is approaching. This will be a good opportunity to use weapons auto fire mode. Auto cannons, burst cannons do not need na manual orders to fire upon the enemy. Good. Am I going to end up with just auto cannons, burst cannons on my ship? Who knows? We'll see what the ranges are. If they're a mixture, of course. I'm just going to stick with them. Simply having an enemy within sh its shooting range is enough for the weapons to automatically aim and shoot. There are more advanced weapons like the rocket turret that requires you to manually target each salvo. Yeah, I updated it for your vibes. It's different now. I can't remember what pitch rate. Oh, yes, I do. I told you about it last night. I remember now. Now engage that enemy. Which side? Aha. Firing at no. Nope. We don't want to target. It's gonna be madness. I'm going to enjoy it. Good. I'm glad you're gonna enjoy it. I mean if that If we fired there it might actually come into Should have probably not targeted it at all, but you know, whatever. Commit. It's probably gonna come straight at us, so. Fire! Wow, we did terrible. Ah! Our allies are tingles. Okay, we need to move. <laughs> we need to move. Talking about madness. Me getting shot by my ally. Good work taking out that pathetic piece of pirate scum. I mean, the escort did more of that because I just sailed into it. Won't even deny that. You don't want your weapons to fire automatically. You can order them to hold fire. This that is done by clicking the weapons icon and then toggle the holding fire firing at will icon. I should have just waited for it to get to me. Never mind. Another piece of need to know. <laughs> Information is that different weapons have different armor piercing values. What you would like this no blue? <laughs> I know, just a load of white. It's be madness. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm glad you're going to enjoy it. Not one piece of white. Low armor piercing against high armor class results in glancing hits that only inflicts a small part of the full damage of any. High armor piercing against low armor class, on the other hand, is more, more likely to inflict critical hits, meaning that the damage is doubled. So, in other hands, in other hand, just get our high armor piercing weapons. That's just it. There's an adventure in chat, guys! Exclamation mark! Adventure join if you want to join. Exclamation mark! Adventure time if you want allies to help you. While on the subject of damaging ships, taking a lot of damage can cause system failures. Thank you, Viper Vale, for the epic lemon pie rogue on the battlefield. Very much appreciated. Nice try. Apparently I did well that time. I made sure to do well that time. System failures are automatically repaired over time, but they will impair your ship in a few different ways. There is a Matang in chat, guys. Exclamation mark. Poke catch if you want it. If you get your bridge damaged, it will greatly limit your view field of vision. Oh no. 
When you're out of control, you have no control over the heading of your ship. The ship may then st steer in any direction. Fuck. Engine damage means you temporarily lose the ability to move your ship. Well, that's about it for this exercise. Next up, you'll learn how to use defensive measures. Well, if we're learning defensive measures, I'm going to sit back and just let them come to me, of course. Bo has been vanquished. vanquished. Successfully completed mission perimeters. Confirmed return to base. Larger ships have deep keels for increased stability. This put them at, at risk of becoming grounded when traveling over shallows. This causes much damage and slows the ship down. Okay. Ships can only have one fa system failure at a time. Thank you, Zvalimente, for the epic bomb on the battlefield. Very much appreciate. Well done, can Cadet. Just one more exercise and you are done with your training. Yay, I've got destroyer points and mostly harmless points. <laughs> mostly because our other ship did it for us. Any ins and outs of utilising defensive measures? Here we go. Acquire sufficient skill in operating the defensive systems on your ship. Waging sea battles requires much more than heavy guns. Your ship must be manoeuvred effectively. And then there is the aspect that we will cover today. Defensive measures. This time you'll only have to sit back and watch as our demo vessels so show you how it's done. You should know that this instruction only covers one of many types of mine launchers and will only teach you their basic workings. In fact, there is much more to know about all the aspects of warfare than we have covered in these classes, but the rest is up to you to learn by yourself. Good luck with that. Oh, brilliant. Learn how to master your defensive systems. So sod you, you're going to figure it out. Your ships have a limited amount of defense, defensive hard 